Kawasaki rider had seven impacts on his head in a high-speed MotoGP crash. Shinya Nakano was back on the bike after such an impact. Unbelievable, right? All MotoGP riders use helmets made of composite fibers. These not only offer superior impact protection, but are also very rigid. For example, Josh Wainwright got run over by a rider behind him in a race. He still continues to race to this day. FIM, the governing body for all motorcycle races, has stringent safety standards for helmets used in racing. Earlier, only Snell certified helmets were approved. Now, FIM have their own performance standards. Only a few helmets that meet these standards are certified. But wait, what are FIM safety standards? And how did helmets become a thing? 1954 is the year AGV dropped a bombshell. The world's first full-face helmet. And to top it off, this was made of composite fibers. But wait, what were they wearing before this? While the earliest racers used nothing but a flat cap as protective headgear, I'm sure the only thing they protected is their hairstyle. This meant that the invention by AGV not only marks the evolution of helmets, but also the materials they used. Before that, let's take a look at the history of a present-day helmet. In 1914, a rider and physicist by the name of Eric Gardner had a crash and had to deal with a lot of head injuries. Post which he did two things. First, he came up with the idea of making something that could protect the head. And second, he spoke to the authorities of the Isle of Man and worked together to make helmets compulsory or headgear as it was known back in the day. 1935 is when things changed for the helmets. A British national hero, T.E. Lawrence, also known as the Lawrence of Arabia, lost his life on a motorcycle. This attracted physicists and scientists to develop a helmet that would protect riders in case of a fall. It was only after World War II that the helmet manufacturing was considered as a lucrative business. Charles Lombard, a researcher from the US Air Force, filed a patent of the first full-face helmet, which is similar to what our current helmets look like. AGV did not waste any time and made the first full-face helmets in 1954. Soon after, other manufacturers like Bell, Shoei and Arai followed with their own versions. Now, as new manufacturers joined the scene and existing ones had a free hand in design, one question became crucial. How do you determine the safety of these helmets? There are a lot of private and government-controlled safety standards which have been established for testing of these helmets since then. The Snell Foundation is one of the first private helmet performance certifications. The Snell Memorial Foundation, also what it's known as, was started by a group of friends who lost their friend, William Pete Snell, to head injuries, even though he was wearing a helmet. A number of countries also started their own certifications like ECE, DOT, JIS, etc. In 2019, FIM introduced their own performance standard for any type of a racing helmet. What's FIM? Federation Internationale de Motociclisme, a very French word. <laughs> that is a government body that controls seven genres of motorcycle like MotoGP, World Superbike, Baja World Cup, Speedway Sidecar, Hard Enduro World Championships, and 68 other motorcycle world championships. All MotoGP riders only wear FIM certified helmets. The first helmet to receive the certification was Shark Race RGP. All helmet manufacturers have used the racetrack as a testing ground for these helmets. Everything that gets tested on track eventually comes to the road. So when you buy a helmet, make sure you look for one of these certifications. The other question is, what are these helmets actually made of? In 1967, when AGV and Giacomo Agostini changed the motorcycling scene by using the first full race helmet for the first time ever in a race. This helmet was made from composite materials. It is established that the earliest helmets were made using composite fibers and this material has remained unchanged till today. But wait a minute, what's composite fibers? What's that? Composite fibers are a technological marvel. Imagine combining the strength of different materials to create something even better. Something that is stronger than steel yet super lightweight. These are made by combining two or more different types of fibers or materials used to create a stronger, more durable and often lightweight material. These combinations are designed to take advantage of the strengths of each component while mitigating their individual weaknesses. 
The process of manufacturing these helmets has only evolved. Manufacturers have experimented with carbon fiber, Kevlar, high grade glass fiber, etc. and it hasn't stopped there. The researchers are developing new combinations using a matrix of different composite materials to make the helmets lighter yet have superior impact protection. Now we know that all MotoGP riders wear helmets made from composite fiber. That being said, no plastic helmet ever has received a FIM certification. So next time you buy a motorcycle helmet, you know what to pick. Hope you like the series on MotoGP and do let us know in the comment section if there is any other motorcycling topic you want us to cover. We'll see you at the Bharat GP. Till then, ride safe. What's FIM? Federacio International de Motorcycle. Here it goes. Dots. Take it away. Motorcycling. Federation International de Motorcycle. Yeah, they're not alive.